We have a birthday in the house. This is Fantasy Move Makers. Welcome to you, Lauren Shahadi, alongside Eric Mack. Very is nice. Is it a birthday or a bad tie day? It, it's both, apparently. <laughs> no, I like your tie. You're so committed, even, even through your wardrobe. Well, my sister, baseball. my sister bought me this baseball tie last year. She asked me to wear it on air, and it's taken me a whole year. It's fabulous. I love it. <laughs> you also love these guys on this first list, so let's get right to it. Cody Ross swinging a hot stick. Juan Rivera also on that list. Three home runs in the last two games. Yeah, these are two guys that have uh, good power potential. These guys are hot for mixed leagues, and they're going to be streaky back the other way again, so you have to watch them. They're high-maintenance players, but when they're hot, they're, they're good enough to start in any leagues. Brad Burgesson is on fire right now for the Orioles. He might even be one of those uh, prospects that can stick in that rotation long term, not only this year, long term down the road, even in the further years. Ryan Masson's closing now for the Phillies, and that's a top contender that can get him a lot of save chances. C.J. Wilson probably will lose his save chances because Frank Francisco is hoping to return this weekend. And Luke Hoshaver, he had a uh, complete game his last time out. He's an elite pitching prospect, a former number one overall pick that might just now be finding himself in the major leagues. Sometimes your lineup needs a little shaking up. Those are the most added. On the other end, Michael Kadire, are we most worried about that right index finger? Emac, well, him he, or no? Yeah, he was scorching hot when he went on the DL with that finger injury, and it cost you for a couple weeks because you thought you had uh, lightning in a bottle with him. But now that he's come back, let him play this week. He might even get hot again and be uh, worth starting in all leagues um, next week, Fantasy Week 12. Howie Kendrick got sent to the minor leagues. Sean Rodriguez is going to take over for him. Manny Parr is sent down. But that was a function of the Brewers not needing a number five starter. He could be back the next time they do need a number five starter. Chris Young, he's struggling. Might need a DL stint along with his teammate Jake Peavy. And Garrett Atkins lost playing time to Ian Stewart. So Garrett Atkins, you've got to hold on to him. There is potential there. He's got power. He might even be traded before the trade deadline. Emac, what do you make of Alfonso Soriano? We're going to spotlight him next. If we could, I'd like to take a look at his May and June graphics. Is he a nice buy low candidate at this point? Yeah, he was all right in April. And then in May, he hit the skids. And then June has just been even worse. Alfonso Soriano, though, is going to get hot again. I think it's going to happen when Aramis Ramirez returns in July. The Cubs lineup is going to be more full strength. And Soriano is going to be a guy you're going to want to own in all leagues. Time is now to trade for him. Okay, fantasy owners have something to look forward to with that. What about with Jake Peavy on this next list? Above all, surgery on that ankle is not being ruled out. What does that say to you? Is that a red yeah. flag, an exclamation Yeah, mark? you can't trade for Jake Peavy right now. Some of the people that have um, might have been making a mistake because there's, there's no timetable for his return right now, and it might not be until next season. That's really costly for him and the Padres because they wanted to get some value out of him before the trade deadline. And then you got Jimmy Rollins and Lance Berkman. Rollins is getting hot. Berkman's been hot for a month. I'm still not sure why people are selling low on him. What are you sure about regarding John Smoltz? He's still down low, maybe going to start against the Nationals as soon as next week, right? Right, right. Yeah, John Smoltz is a, an elite arm that's coming off shoulder surgery. That's a problem. But Smoltz, he, if he can go a quality start with the Red Sox, that's a team that can get him great run support, and he can have tremendous value in all leagues. Then we got some of the other hot players on this most viewed list. Juan Rivera is a popular uh, pickup. Brad Burgesson is hot. Zobris, that versatility and pop. And then you got Travis Hafner. He's got homers in back to back games. We're on a hitting streak. Thank you, Max. Should we uh, sing happy birthday? No? no, no. I just want to get this tie off. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> and thank you for watching. For Emac, I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll see you soon.